Hello! In this video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on this lens here, the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 autofocus lens for Nikon Z mount. But the photographs I've been capturing with it, well, they're not what you would normally expect from me. A few months ago, I actually did two videos where I shared my thoughts on a couple of other Viltrox lenses. They were the 23mm f1.4 for Nikon Z crop cameras and the 24mm f1.8 for Nikon Z full frame cameras. I was hugely impressed by those lenses, particularly given their price point. And in fact, today I'm actually filming this video with the 23mm f1.4 on my Nikon ZFC. So when Viltrox reached out to me and said, would you like to try our 85mm f1.8? I said, no. The problem with an 85mm prime lens is it's, well, for me, it's not a great focal length for taking landscape photographs. Sure, I might end up taking some landscape photographs at 85mm, but that would probably be when I'm carrying a larger zoom lens about. I wouldn't want to carry around a dedicated 85mm lens, so I didn't really have a use for it. But then I had a thought. Perhaps I could use it for something slightly different. No, not portraits, but perhaps I could use it in my live music photography. Now, it's something I've been doing a while. I don't really talk about it much on this YouTube channel, but since about 2013, I've been out and capturing gigs, concerts, festivals, other music related events. And I thought, actually, a fast prime in my bag about that focal length might actually be really useful. My live music photography has been on the back burner for the last couple of years, but now that gigs, concerts, music festivals are all starting to happen again, I'm back in the pit with my camera capturing photographs. So this is an excellent opportunity, good timing by Viltrox when they asked me, do I want to try this 85mm f1.8 lens? Because since moving to the Nikon Z system, I've mostly been using zoom lenses for the maximum aperture of f4. And while these will be perfectly suitable for doing live music photography, it just means I have to put up the ISO uh, a bit more than I might be comfortable with. So having the opportunity to have a fast prime with a wide open aperture like f1.8 is really useful. It's going to be a, a great addition to my kit bag. Now I have been out at a few gigs and concerts recently and I've been taking this 85mm lens out with me and I'm now ready to share my photographs and thoughts on this lens with you. Right, let's talk about the specifications of this lens. As I said, it's an 85mm f1.8 prime lens. This one is for Nikon Z mount, but it is available for other mounts. It is designed for full frame cameras, but it will obviously work on crop cameras as well. It is an autofocus lens and will work with Nikon's eye autofocus system. It isn't stabilized though, so you are gonna be relying on your camera's stabilization system if it has one. It's got a nano coating to reduce flare and ghosting. It's an all metal construction and weighs 540 grams. It's 80 millimeters across and 92 millimeters long. Comes with a lens hood. It will record EXIF information. And like the other two lenses from Viltrox that I looked at, it has the ability to upgrade the firmware via USB. Tech specs aside, what's the lens like to use? Well, let's talk about its construction first. It's got a good weight to it, you know, probably thanks to its um, metal body. You know, it feels very well made, but it's not too heavy or it's not too big that when you're holding it up to your eye for um, long periods of time, that it starts to feel heavy. Nor when you've got it on a camera strap and it's hanging down to your side, it doesn't move about too much or it doesn't feel like it's dragging you down. It's just a good weight and size that you would expect from an 85 millimeter lens. It does have a large, smooth, um, manual focus ring though, but as I use autofocus almost all the time, I've not really used this very much. Talking of autofocus, this lens does work well with Nikon's autofocus systems, including standard autofocus and things like eye autofocus as well. But the performance that you get from this lens will very much depend on the camera and the shooting scenario that you've got. So I use a Nikon Z7, this is a Mark I, not the newer Mark II. And this camera has never been, shall we say, particularly great with its eye autofocus in dark, low light situations. It can struggle to find an eye. But when it does do, the lens really keeps up. There's no discernible lag there and it locks on and gives me a nice sharp photo. But if I move away from the reliance on eye autofocus, you know, so the camera's not hunting about trying to find an eye and I select my autofocus point, there's no problem there at all. Press back button focusing, uh, it locks on, camera and the lens work together well and I get a nice sharp image. 
Outside of live music, I did get the opportunity to use this lens in a couple of different scenarios, a couple of more forgiving scenarios. For example, this picture here of my dog, Monty. And the lens has worked really well with the camera's animal IAF system in it. Even at f1.8, absolutely nailed the focus, bang on his eye, and it looks really good. And again, this is where this lens begins to shine when you open it up at f1.8. As you can see, the focus really sort of drops off and you get that nice blurry background. I also put the lens on my Nikon ZFC. This is a crop sensor camera. So this gives me an equivalent focal length of about 128 millimeters. And this was ideal, again, in combination with the autofocus system of the camera to capture these images of my local point-to-point -point horse race. But back to the primary purpose I have for this lens, and that's capturing live music photographs. Let me share with you some more of the photographs I've been capturing with this lens. Okay, let me see if I can summarize my thoughts on this lens. Overall, I have to say I really like it. It's a great addition to have in my live music photography kit bag. That nice, fast aperture of f1.8 allows loads of light to come in. And so this allows me to really drop down from ISOs 3200 down to 1600, sometimes even less depending on the venue. That's a, a distinct advantage over my much slower f4 lenses. Also, the autofocus system, depending on which mode you're using it, and again, depending on the, the lighting scenario, it works really well. So when the camera's there and it's got its autofocus point, the lens keeps up and it produces nice, sharp images for me. Another advantage of this lens is it's well built. Shooting photographs in the pit can be a little bit tricky. It's dark, there's other photographers about, there's barriers, you know, there's, and you've got cameras hanging off straps around your shoulder so you know there's an opportunity for stuff to get knocked so knowing that your kit is well built is really important it's not a lens i would use all the time but it's still one i want to have in my kit bag and because of the price point of this lens it's a really tempting offer i think it represents really good value for money most importantly though this lens helps me capture sharp images in low light conditions but is this a lens that should be in your kit bag well, I mean, ultimately that's only a decision you can make. Everyone's shooting scenarios and styles and requirements are all slightly different. But hopefully the information in this video will help you make that decision. But if you also want to check out a couple of the other Viltrox lenses, remember I mentioned I did videos for the 23mm and the 24mm autofocus lenses. I'll include a link for those videos at the end screen of this one. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video and this quick look at the 85mm 1.8 for Nikon Z mount lens from Viltrox. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of information about how this lens works and performs. Uh, and hopefully it's given you uh, an idea of some of the other photographs that I've taken and introduced you to my live music photography as well. You can see more of those images in the link for the blog which is appearing up on the screen just now. But until the next video, I shall see you then.